Have you ever wondered how the great emperor Marcus Aurelius kept his cool even during absolute chaos and stress? Well, one super powerful technique he used was journaling. That's right, even during his most stressful and busy times, Marcus would steal moments just for himself to jot down his thoughts and reflections. And now you too can learn how to journal like a stoic pro just like Marcus Aurelius did. Hey guys, and welcome back. I'm Sophia, your philosophy lover who's just trying to spread some knowledge and wisdom to help you become a better you. And in this video, I'll be sharing five strategies straight from the Stoics to help you build an unbreakable spirit and journal like a pro. Let's get into them. If you're anything like Marcus Aurelius, getting out of bed in the morning might be a struggle, but don't worry. This is the perfect time to dive into your journaling practice. As soon as you wake up, take a deep breath and tell yourself that you're ready to face anything life throws your way. That's right, even meddling, ungrateful, arrogant, dishonest, jealous and surly people. Yep, they're out there. According to Marcus, these people just can't tell good from evil. So it's up to you to rise above it all. Grab your trusty journal and start imagining your day ahead. Think about all the things you might encounter and how you want to respond to them. As Marcus said, a healthy mind should be prepared for anything. Plan and meditate on how you aim to act each day and write it all down in your journal. This is your space to prepare, strategize and envision your best response to any situation. Picture this, Marcus Aurelius, emperor and philosopher, facing all sorts of stresses and obstacles on a daily basis. Plagues, wars, financial crises, family drama, you name it, he dealt with it. But here's the kicker, you won't find a single account of him losing his cool or letting stress control him. How did he do it, you ask? Well, one of his secrets was journaling. That's right. According to a study by Cambridge University, writing in a journal when you're feeling stressed can actually improve your physical and psychological health. And Marcus knew this. He believed that putting your angry thoughts down on paper was a powerful way to release them without hurting others. As he wrote in his journal, paper is more patient than people. So the next time you're feeling angry or stressed, take a page out of Marcus's book. Literally, write it all down. Let it out on the page instead of projecting it onto others. And who knows? Maybe you'll find that by taking control of your thoughts and emotions, you can handle whatever life throws your way, just like the Stoic Emperor himself. If you're not repeating yourself, are you even journaling? That's what Marcus Aurelius would say. His meditations may seem repetitive, but that's because he was reminding himself of the most important things. You know, stuff like remembering your mortality and living each day as if it could be your last. But he didn't stop there. He also talked about our duty to the common good and the importance of philosophy. And guess what? Marcus wasn't just writing for the fun of it. He was training his mind. By writing and rewriting these ideas, he was creating muscle memory and that muscle memory helped him take action in the world. So don't be afraid to repeat yourself in your journal. Your soul takes on the color of your thoughts and your life takes on the color of what you write about. Oh, did Marcus love asking himself tough questions. He was constantly questioning his actions, choices and path in life. Why am I here? How do I make sure I'm doing the right thing? How can I prepare myself for whatever life throws my way? These are just a few of the questions he asked himself. And you know what? It's not a bad idea to follow his lead. If you want to be more like Marcus, and who doesn't, start asking yourself the tough questions. How do you deal with pain and misfortune? Are you afraid of death? Why did you say or do that thing that you regret? And perhaps most importantly, is what you're doing right now really necessary? Let's face it, most of what we do isn't essential. It's just instinctual or something we've been told to do by someone else. But if we take the time to ask ourselves the tough questions, we might find that we can eliminate a lot of the unnecessary stuff in our lives. And that, my friends, can lead to more time and more tranquility. At the end of the day, you've got to examine your actions, your words, your everything. As Seneca said, when the light goes off and your partner is asleep, it's time to reflect on your whole day, hiding nothing from yourself, passing nothing by. Did you stick to your plans for the day? Were you prepared enough? What could you have done better? What did you learn that will help you tomorrow? These are the questions you've got to ask yourself every evening. 
Marcus knew the importance of self-reflection and self-awareness. He even journaled about it. And you know what? His notebook of thoughts survived the centuries and still helps people today. It's time to put these stoic principles into action. Start by journaling, reflecting on your daily actions and ask yourself the tough questions. Who knows? You might just discover something incredible about yourself that you never knew before. Do you channel like a pro? Let me know in the comments. And if you found this video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you again next time.